Welcome to the After Spin. Additional comments from our panelists just available on our website. We want our panelists to tell us what you wish you'd said on last week's show, but you didn't. Chris Fitzsimon, we'll start with you. Well, you asked me about the, uh, the different agendas of the, the three legislative leaders. One of the things I thought was interesting, and I don't, I don't actually think know whether it was a good idea or not a good idea. I think uh, Speaker Moore was one of the few speakers in recent, maybe back since uh, I think Jim Black did it, but maybe even back to Liston Ramsey, who didn't make a sort of a formal policy address or policy speech when he was uh, elected. I thought he just sort of talked off the cuff, and it was appropriate, and I thought fine. But it was a departure from what we've seen from speakers in the last uh, a few years, certainly in the last t several terms, and it didn't give him many clues about what his policy agenda is, which I think why, is why a lot of people have so many questions. Howard Lee, what do you wish you'd said that you didn't say? Well, I think it uh, would have been a time for me to think about how we use our resources, and um, I have been impressed with the fact that the School of Science and Math is extending itself out across the state by holding online instructional sessions for schools that do not have the high quality teachers available to them. And I think if we can look at how we can improve utilizing our resources in dual ways, the better off we're going to be in the long run. Interesting. Connie, what do you wish you'd said that you didn't say? Well, um, although transportation hasn't been the number one issue talked about, I think it is going to be a big issue this session. Uh, we know the governor has been talking about some in additional initiatives with the strategic transportation initiatives that yes. he's been working on. But I think you'll see ideas, additional ideas floated around for additional revenues for the Highway Trust Fund, which I know we've talked about a lot here. And then you've got the billion dollar um, bond issue that's being proposed. So transportation is going to be big. There's going to be additional revenue sources that are going to be looked at. And there's going to be a lot of debate because when you talk about roads, it, that's a local issue that people really care about. Additional revenue sources. Does that mean additional new taxes? Well, this is a deal. A fee increase is not a tax increase. I Just see. as long as you remember that, you'll be okay. Semantics. <laughs> what do you wish you'd have said, John Hood? Well, there isn't more than a semantic distinction between a tax increase and a fee increase, because by definition, a fee increase is something that covers a service with which there is a specific delivery cost and to which citizens are not entitled, whereas a tax is a general revenue. But anyway, um, what I, I know there was some discussion about this in the press, and we, we may have talked about it on previous shows, but I'm still struck by the fact that Tim Moore, Speaker of the House, had, uh, was involved in student government at Campbell University with David Lewis. They were there together. And then he went to UNC Chapel Hill and interacted with Wayne Goodwin, who's now the uh, Commissioner, uh, of insurance. Commissioner of Insurance. And I think Cal Cunningham was on campus. And, Cal would eventually become student body president at UNC Chapel Hill. So we're seeing a generation of people who kind of reminds me of some past times when you see like a Jim Hunt would be active in student government at NC State with people who they would, he would then work together with or fight with 30 years later as governor or, or lieutenant governor. That's a really interesting observation yeah. because Steve Channing did a fascinating documentary on UNC TV this past week uh, which talked about uh, a generation of change and in that he talked about the study group after World War II in the UNC Law School which include uh, uh, Bill Friday and Terry Sanford and John Jernigan and uh, Bill Aycock and a number of other people and this sounds fairly similar to uh, this generation. A, a little bit broader and a little bit not so hoity-toity maybe but yes well, people who know each other from from a long ago. Well, thanks for watching the Afterspin. More video all during the week on ncspin.com.